Hello everyone, good day. So today we are going to see about AC204 renewal for the year 2022. So before wasting our time, let me just give you my uh, intro about myself and follow by that what we are going to see in this uh, session. So when about me, I have certified AC204 and AC400% and there are like still some certificates that are in progress. So it will be updated soon. Anyway, without wasting your time, let me move on to one like what we are going to see so first of all like if you are easy to not for certified congrats so after the year you, you are aware like you will be getting a renewal so many people are not able to renewal process so what it will be so in this session we are going to cover those stuff so we will be seeing the notification that will be coming in our outlook and preparation material so, uh, that we need to do and how to clear the exam and how to verify whether the the things that we clear is reflected or not so without wasting my time let's move on there uh, let's move on to edge okay so here you can see right you will be getting a notification right like, like this there is this email yeah there we go so here it says like uh i have uh i have uh, completed the exam on uh, november 2021 so since the november is going to happen within like uh, 180 days so i got cut at this day six one so it's telling me to like do renewal process and blah 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 so if you want to like proceed the renewal you can click this link or like you can click on the renew your certificate so whatever you feel like doing you can go with that so this process is simple so you'll be giving a guide so let me just without wasting your time let me just click this yeah there we go so if you see here uh, um yeah i completed on november and the exam got updated on uh april 19 so there are like some contents updated so the updated contents will be available here if you are taking it on like next 2023 or like uh once this and after like uh, uh after this month so there may be like certain contents added or removed so those will be like uh, available here so this will be the skills that will be measured in the renewal assessment so you may be wondering like uh where i can find the relevant materials so you just need to scroll down uh in your case it will be within 180 days uh since i have already renewed it's showing me like this and it's not allowing me to take an another exam so yeah if you see these are the parts so it, overall it came around three hours uh, 15 minutes uh if you are if you are checking other materials those things you can able to cover it it won't be taking much time so the content here uh are discussing more of like the theory materials and one of the content here just show the practical overview so this content showed me the practical overview of it in your case if you're taking now it will be remaining the same else it will be different for me i took nearly i'm a slow learner so i took nearly three hours uh, 30 minutes if you are good in those concept you can quickly go through it you can i'm just going to click like this so you can see right so you can go to this link and you can start your journey so this will be the topics covered uh, if you see i'm just randomly going to knowledge measure so you can see right so these areas should be available so like this uh, this is the learning part if you ask me like hey do i need to go with the learning part or i can go with the random guest and take the exam well you can go over and take the exam you just need to click this link in my case it won't be working uh here they have mentioned like 45 minutes online but uh, the time won't be counted. Uh, so on our there for yeah, for me there were like twenty five questions to questions and those questions are repeated. So I cleared it in the second attempt to just to see, uh, see how uh, the attempt process everything will be. So the questions that came on the first attempt all all are repeated on the second attempt as well. Just the question number got shuffled up and the options are shuffled up as well. So the concept is simple. Once you click this link just like uh here you are seeing the knowledge check right so you will be having each and every question uh, in a single page so the questions we are asked in a all are like mcq sort of question so you need to select one option it's not like a complicated easy to not for certificate which you took earlier so it won't be that coming it's all just a four uh, option questions only so you will be choosing one among the correct uh, options so there will be 25 uh, questions uh, or it may be increased or decreased but uh, 25 is the average count 
uh, so that's how the online assessment will be if you click this link and if you take the exam and if you fail immediately you can able to uh, take another uh, uh, you can able to do another attempt so those can be done uh, so you don't need to worry but in the second attempt, if you fail it will take a 24 hour hours for the re attempt and there is no restriction so you can able to like let's say like uh, if you fail in seventh attempt whether i uh, whether i can take in eighth attempt yeah you can go with that but make sure you have the enough days uh, to fulfill that uh, situation so yeah that's the one thing and when it comes to the question part how the questions were so the questions some questions to me it seems to be very straightforward I can able to guess and give the correct answer. Some questions are lengthy. It provides lots of information, but uh, the answer is simple. So you just uh, read the question properly. Uh, you will be getting the answer for sure. Sometimes the answer will be a bit confusing. So there is no time limit. So you can just take your time and you can able to like crack the exam. Um, so that's for that part. So you don't need to worry much. Uh, the best recommendation is like once you get the notification give a try even at under the time also like uh it's 180 days uh it showed me like 180 days so even like you can have that much time and you can do that much retakes to clear this exam so that's about this part and yeah what did i missed is there anything i missed here yeah. yeah how to clear yeah how to verify so you may be wondering like how i can verify it so that is uh, pretty simple. So for verification, in my case, you can see, right, expiry date uh, added up and it is showing us November 20, 2023. So in this way, you can verify and you'll be getting an email for sure. So I took uh, yesterday, which is like 24 hours uh, prior to it. So it, this email popped up on 724. Uh, uh, I took this exam on like uh, 12 am something and after like seven or eight hours uh, we are getting it so here you can see right claim your badge so you can able to verify incredibly website so yeah i have signed in if you have not signed in you can able to see the verify link and you can able to like check those things oh yeah i kept this ready for you so if you click verify you can see right expires on november 23 issued so yeah so it got verified so these are the tips and tricks and for more tips i can say like you can give a trial without learning these modules also if you are if you feel like confident and you can clear within 30 minutes so you don't need to go to the learning modules if you feel like you need to know certain areas feel free to visit those modules uh, which are available here even if you failed also this will be available and once you fail the areas where you didn't uh, cope up well those modules will be up up here so you can able to save that as a collection so that would be available and most important thing is like if you you need to link your you have uh, if you have separate account like for learning you have a separate account for exam you have a separate account then that will be a bit uh mess so uh you need to log in with the certificate account uh so with that the docs it should be opening in my case both are same account so this is my account it remains the same so that's about it um yeah so the exam is pretty simple straightforward all our mcq questions the materials to learn are available here and you can even uh not you can even check uh on youtube for like specific topic not to uh, this exam to specific topic to know more on certain modules those will be have uh, those you can able to check it and the exam questions can't be searched in the google or uh, or in any browser so if you feel like hey i can able to take that exam and i can able to use my mobile to search the questions no that's not recommended just uh try to understand the question and try to answer it because those questions can't be uh, copied or like uh, that can be searched in the browser so that's about it and uh, that's not the practice as well so yeah that's about it so thank you so much for coping your time with me have a wonderful day so we'll catch up with other good topics. Thank you. Bye.